Welcome back to my channel Let's Talk Money. Today I would like to talk about money, specifically about money that is free. Well, not really free. See, if you for any reason have money sitting in a bank that you don't know or have an uncashed check or some type of life insurance proceeds that you have no clue of or tax refund that belongs to you or any other property that belongs to you, but it's not in your possession, then you are entitled to get it. The law requires banks, insurance companies, corporations, and certain other entities to report and, and submit their customer's property to the state's controller's office when there has been no activity for a period of time, generally three years. Common types of unclaimed property are bank accounts, stocks, bonds, uncashed checks, insurance benefits, wages, and safe deposit box contents. If the government owes you money and you do not collect it, then it's unclaimed. Further, I will explain where to look for unclaimed money and how you can avoid scams related to unclaimed funds. So where to look for unclaimed money? Currently, the government does not have one central website for finding unclaimed money by name, social security number or state. To find unclaimed money from the government, you can check a number of sources. And I'll go over those in a second. Let's start with the state's unclaimed money. Search your state's listing of unclaimed funds and property. Unclaimed back wages. If you think you may be owed back wages from your employer, search the wage and hour division's database of workers for whom it has money waiting to be claimed. Wage and hour division is part of the U.S. Department of Labor. For life insurance, you can search the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, VA, for unclaimed insurance funds that are owned to certain current or former policyholders or their beneficiaries. Please note, that this does not include funds from service members group life insurance or veterans group life insurance policies from 1965 to the present. Pension from former employers. Search for unclaimed pension money from companies that went out of business or ended a defined plan. Next is taxes. Tax refund. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, may owe you money if your refund was unclaimed or undelivered. Search the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, for unclaimed funds from failed financial institutions. Find unclaimed deposits from credit unions. The Securities and Exchange Commission lists enforcement cases where a company or person owes investors money. Also, the Treasury Department will exchange mutilated or damaged U.S. currency. If you had an FHA insured mortgage, you may be eligible for a refund from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. To search the HUD database, you will need your FHA case number. Search for savings bonds that stop earning interest. Treasury Hunt allows you to search for bonds issued since 1974 that have matured and are no longer earning interest. I will post a link to all those sources so you can search and check if you might have any money that is sitting somewhere and legally belongs to you. I was able to find unclaimed money myself. I'll show you in a separate video how to do a quick search and I'll post the video link as well. All these sources are free, so make sure you do not pay anyone for it. There are a bunch of scammers that are trying to trick you. Beware of people who pretend to be the government and offer to send you unclaimed money for a fee. These scammers use a variety of tricks to get your attention, but their goal is the same, to get you to send them money. Government agencies will not call you about unclaimed money or assets. Love this video? Don't forget to share your happiness with your friends. And please, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Let's talk money. Hope to see you again.